Okay, thank you. Welcome back, everyone. Now we will have uh, the second session of uh, the third interactive dialogue. We will have our ladies from uh, Bangladesh, Miss Israt Jahan and Miss Azmer Ashrafi, uh, the planner and urban development from the UDD Directorate, Ministry of Housing and Public Works of Bangladesh. Miss Israt and Miss Azmer, I welcome you to the stage. Thank you, uh, dear participants, speaker, and guests. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Thank you for inviting me here and giving me the chance to present Bangladesh. I am presenting on behalf of Urban Development Directorate, which is under Ministry of Housing and Public Works. I will try to address the presence of urban and rural area in special planning in Bangladesh context. According to uh, the data of our country, the urbanization rate is 28% in 2015, which is projected to be 56% in 2050, but at present, it is 39%. That means by 2050, it will cross 56%. In this situation, being in this situation, now I am talking about the planning practices of Bangladesh. Next slide, please. Okay. In our country, there are many organizations which are responsible for planning, such as uh, UDD is responsible for the whole Bangladesh, including both urban and rural areas, and development authorities like uh, Russia Development Authority, Tirang Development Authority, there are five more development authorities. They are only responsible for their jurisdiction. And the LGRD that recently got the planning permission to do plan for Bangladesh, they are responsible for the cities and the municipalities. Next slide, please. Okay. In this situation, uh, I am giving a brief uh, description of the planning practices of UDD. From 1972 to 75, this development uh, directorate prepared plan for different district or divisional headquarters, satellite towns, urban centers, and prepare also some regional plans also. Next slide. From 1984 to 1991, we prepared plan for 392 upojelas and 50 jelas under national physical planning. This is our first national physical plan. But the irony is that they are all made by using drafting pen and uh, manually prepared. So we don't have any digital database for those plans. Next. Next. After 2015, uh, sorry, 13, there is a paradigm, sh paradigm shift in planning process in our country. We started risk sensitive land use plan. We started to prepare digital database, and we also started to include several types of surveys. Okay. This is a glimpse of our planning processes. All the steps of our planning are uh, here. I'm not going to elaborate it. I just want to show this because you can, uh, if, so that you can understand, we included all these type of surveys and all these types of analysis to get the final plan. 
So it's a lots of permutation and combinations. And after 2019, we started to in, uh, include public health related surveys. And as there is a lots of database that we have created by doing plans, so we also include the data management system. Next. Okay. By following this process, 11% of total Bangladesh, the area of ele only 11% is planned by our department. And under the ministry, next please. And under our ministry, that is housing and public works, 15% area is going to cover by 2025. But this is not enough. As we need to update the national physical plan, and we need to take decision regarding the development. So, next please. We decided to put the uh, comparative administrative scenario for the whole Bangladesh, considering ecology, infrastructure, and economy to set priorities where to invest, the development priorities and the planning priorities. To understand uh, the status, we consider uh, four things. That is ecological suitability, infrastructure service suitability, and the existing urban scenario considering the ecology and the infrastructure and the economic competitiveness. Okay. For ecological suitability, we considered all types of uh, natural calamities that Bangladesh is affected, uh, like flood, drought, river erosion, and so on. And even we considered the uh, type of the calamities, the time, the damage, the affected event, all by considering all this, we draw a scenario. Can you uh, change the slide? Okay. From this map, we can see the red areas are comparatively more sensitive than, than the green areas. It doesn't mean that the green are good or the red are bad. It means that there is a comparative statement that green are, red are more sensitive. Can you change the slide? And this is the opposite of the previous map. That means the rates are more suitable for be urban, to be urban. Change the slide, please. Okay, and for the uh, infrastructure service variables, we considered 11 variables like uh, road network, airport, proximity from sea, urban population, and some other values. And following the same process, change the slide. We prepared this. This is a comparative statement regarding uh, suitability, regarding infrastructure service that are available in these areas. You can see the red are more privileged than the green areas. Next. Okay, to bring these two elements into one platform, we create a matrix, we, and we prepare the urban readiness. That means which area is more prepared to be urban to get the investments. Change the slide. Okay. This is the absolute view of the data that we get from uh, all those analyses. It shows that in Bangladesh, actually, we have only one city. That is our capital, the Dhaka. And comparing to that city, all becomes green. That is, those are less competitive than Dhaka. Change. Now, for the case of economic competency, we considered uh, the GDP of our country. You can see the uh, considerations. Next slide, please. Okay, the agricultural sector, from the agriculture sector, we have four subsector. you can see, and it contributes 11.5% in our national GDP. Next, please. And the red marks that are 
more suitable for agriculture and the, the contribution of these administrative boundaries are more in agriculture. Next please. From industrial sector in contributes 35%. Next please. And these are the sub-sectors. And as I previously said that the red are more competent, then these sectors contributes more in GDP regarding industries. Next please. This is the final composition of all the sub-sectors and again Dhaka is leading. Next please. This is for the uh, manufacturing sector. And next please, I already described it. Okay. And for the service sector, it's 53%. That is the uh, leading sector in our country. The service sector is contributing in GDP 53%. Change. These are all sub-sectors of service sectors. Again, in everywhere, Dhaka is leading. Change, please. Change, please. Now, if we consider all the sectors, if, if we compile the agriculture, the industry, and the service sector, we know as Dhaka is leading everywhere, so it, it is evident that Dhaka will lead. Next. We also cross-check our data with the illumination intensity. This is, this is the lifeline, economic lifeline of Bangladesh. And Dhaka is leading again. Next, please. Next. Uh, <laughs> can you go to the previous one? Please. Can you run it? OK. You can see uh, this is a real scenario. If we try to put all our administrative units like this, the red dot, the big red dot is Dhaka. The uh, radius is its GDP, and the location is uh, its suitability, considering uh, ecology and infrastructure services. And see, all other cities of our country remain low. Next, please. OK. If we, uh, this is the comparative economic uh, productivity of growth centers of all the country, considering the GDP, employment, and establishment in all uh, categories, Dhaka is the lead. Please, next. Now, what about the ratio? If we consider the economic productivity, the ratio, you can see the manufacturing, the agriculture is the highest in employment. That means it has a large sector in employment, and it also consumes the largest space. Next. Now, what about the uh, space and the productivity? Next, please. You can see 10% uh, GDP has the largest number, that is 48% labor, and 70% space. Next. But the more GDP, that is 20% GDP, that consumes only 16% labor and only 3% of our land. Now, what we have for the spatial planning? We have the ecological suitable area, infrastructure suitable area, urban readiness, that means which area is more ready to be urban, and the economic competency. Next. We also have some government policy, that is a five-year plan, uh, my village, my town vision, perspective plan, data plan, and government manifesto, that all have some indications for planning, what we should do. If we compare all these things and to prepare our future plan, uh, we already submitted this project, which is uh, which is waiting for the approval of our uh, Honorable Prime Minister. We divided total Bangladesh into five different sectors. That is, first priority is Dhaka and its surrounding 31st, uh, 31 Upojela. Then we need to do plan for connecting ports and transboundary road connections, then the corridors around National Highway, 
then the regional corridor, and lastly, the rural Bangladesh, the agriculture Bangladesh. Now, urban-rural connectivity through spatial planning that will be presented by our colleague, my colleague. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and assalamu alaikum. I'm Asmeri Ashrafi. Uh, basically, I'm working for the Development uh, Authority of Rajshahi, the Metropolitan City, which is the uh, is northern part of uh, Bangladesh. And uh, maybe I'm going to stall one or two more minutes that uh, uh, in addition to my our schedule time. Hope you don't mind. So I will try to be very quick. Uh, if you see the, uh, can you uh, change that? Okay, uh, next please. I'll just quickly give you a review that uh, Rache is the fourth largest divisional city and is very famous for itself and its educational institute and also for agriculture. And it is one of the warmest city of the country. Next please. And uh, you can see, like the many other cities of the country, we have a mixture of urban and rural settings. So this is some photos from the urban sector. And next, and these are the rural settings. So if you see that, uh, actually, uh, if we uh, statistically, if we compare the th whole things, that only 27% of the population is living in the urban area. And, uh, rest of the people, more than 70% are living on the rural side, and they are mostly involving in the um, agriculture, farming, and fishing sectors. Next, please. So, uh, like many other cities, it was like a normal cities, but sudden changes came when people know from the different news that uh, Russia has been cut down their air pollution rate and awarded the national environmental medals, then reduced the urban uh, UHI effect, and finally people titled it as the green and clean city of the country. Next, please. So uh, how? How it happened? Actually, it was a long journey, and uh, Russia Development Authority was working on it from since 1976, and we have uh, already um, if we completed three different master plans for our reason, and uh, the main changes, can I have the animation please? Uh, main changes came since 2004, actually. We started, we get our um, uh, oil pictures from the 2004, next please. So, like the many other, next, uh, so planning studies, we have that kind of uh, normal practice, that collection of uh, lots of data and uh, urbanism, urbanization system, population present, and so that. And we have, in addition to that, actually, we involve, next please, we involve people's participation from the planning to implementation part. During, uh, actually, during our preparation of the plan, we try to involve people uh, before the plan, after we uh, did the draft plan, and finally during the implementation part. So when we are there before the uh, preparation time, we try to uh, talk or consult with all of the occupational people who are engaged in different occupations. Also, we have addressed the minor group of people, the ethnic people, and we ensure at least 10 person females should be participated and also the disabled people so that we can have all kinds of voice to and which can be reflected to the our our plans next please so that was the preparation time and after that when we translate the whole things into space we go back to the uh, to them again and we have uh, around uh, five consultation meetings with again with the same people uh, and we presented our draft plans with, the, with them and they are giving the comments because in Bangladesh actually we are having problem of huge population with limited land which is we don't th take it as a negative we rather think that we have a huge population so which is very positive in a, in a, in a, in a other way so we, in, as we have land constraints, so, and most of the lands is owned by the, uh, by the people, not by the government, so uh, people, uh, to implement the plan uh, in, in proper way, uh, people's involvement and voice is very important so that people can accept the plan. Next, please. 
So we dis divide the um, plan area into three par two parts. And one is urban area, which is about 100 square kilometer, and rest are the two, uh, um, uh, rest of the area is set as the as it is. Only we provide some accessibility and education, health, and urban facilities to to them. As as it has been, my colleague has been described that most uh, the northern part is very productive and contributing almost 10 percent uh, of the agriculture to the country. So we have this plan, we have strategic structure, functional master plan, and detailed area plan with a digital database that we have first uh, introduced in, in our city, Rajshahi, in, in 2004. Next, please. So we uh, in, try to introduce the My Village, My Town concept here. We uh, try to link the urban growth center, rural growth centers to the main hub and also provide them the one-stop services from in the growth center from where they can access to the all kind of urban facilities as well as to provide them uh, a wholesale market facilities. Next please. Then we, uh, for, to make the city green and clean, we focus more on the uh, blue zone preservation and also uh, enrich and increase the green spaces of the, uh, and also we have some, uh, we try to accommodate the low income and middle income group through different uh, housing schemes like uh, land settlement, uh, site and services, and also to provide a better uh, housing facilities to the congested area like uh, squatters and slums. We try to introduce the land sharing and land uh, uh, um, readjustment concept. And also we focus on the child and women's uh, recreation things because, you know, in, ba in Bangladesh actually we are like a bit uh, um, conservative. Uh, so. It is very accessible to the man to go and have a uh, good time in the, uh, in the outside, but for women and children, most of the time they are in the, in, inside the house, so to, we try to conserve a local water, surface water basin so, and develop it as a community park so that uh, the women and children can have easy access to uh, get a good time over there. Next, please. So uh, after uh, we started the implementation for 2004, and we actually to implement that, in the beginning we faced very um, many challenges, but when uh, we came up with a vision that we should involve our most influential person uh, of the city, we contact with our mayors and we try to convince them uh, about uh, what's the benefit and how can people can be benefited. Also, he can be benefited by vote. So they, he understand and he try to motivate and uh, coordinate the all development organizations. They are related to the uh, plan implementations. Also, we have involved the local councillors, the elected councillors who are responsible to the uh, small unit of the, uh, of the city. So we involve them so that they can take care of the, uh, monitor the implementation of the plan. And when we really compare the the land use changes uh, data from since 2004 to 2021, we found that we were uh, able to balance the uh, land use ratio so far. Next, please. So, uh, first, new. Uh, to introduce, to make the city green and clean, as well as to make the city safe, we try to integrate the disaster risk sensitivity issues with our land use zones. And uh, we have prepared the uh, Russian Metropolitan Development Plan 2022 to 2041 as a disaster sensitive master plan. Next, please. And we have the, uh, yesterday's uh, um, presentation shows us that how important it is to have a legal validate of the plan because otherwise you really cannot force the people to obey the plan. So we have gazetted the plan to the, for, which is approved by the government and we, under the Russia Development Authority Act 2018. Next, please. 
Now we are trying to motivate our municipalities. There are three municipalities in our cities so that they can use their DIS database, structured database, to uh, link with their taxation system so that they can earn more and they can use that money for the development of the city. Uh, next, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you for everyone. And I have shared some uh, a, a video of the of my city in in our group group so that you can enjoy. And also one more thing from my director, uh, from uh, urban development director, that we have actually trying to uh, prepare a platform like Plateau. Uh, in, we are in the beginning stage. We have uh, that uh, secondary data of from all uh, digital data of the country. So now we are. Uh, trying to have a collaboration with the uh, history so that we can have a web-based database system. Thank you, everyone.